Hey guys, welcome back. How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Caps Killer, obviously. And uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you so much for your support and your comments. Uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, I really do. I honestly do appreciate every and each single one of you for giving such a great uh, support. You know, because I do this for you guys. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be bothering doing this. All right, so what I'm going to show you here for today on this early mo morning Sunday daylight saving <laughs> forward video I'm gonna show you a couple of things for Ghost Recon Wildlands now before I jump into calibration I want to show you something very important here now many of you will have your red green blue RGB range set to automatic what I like to do, I like to set it to full. When you set it to full, you get much uh, deeper blacks and less of that oversaturating, bleak brightness all over your screen. Some of you think it's your LEDs. No, it's not. It's your just bleaked, oversaturated brightness gamma. So keep it at full. Leave it at full. Don't mind that automatic recommended. Just follow my steps. Leave it at full, okay? leave it at full and resolution you can keep it on automatic if you like but if you already know that you have a 10-bit color TV keep it on YUV 420 okay once you have done that remember go and click the RGB range on full once you have done that then here I'm gonna show you my calibration for Ghost Recon Wildlands coming up next Now, before I show you my calibrations, let me just uh, show you how this game looks right now on my screen and what I have achieved so far. And I'm pretty sure that you guys are going to agree that this is so far my first good attempt to get a good calibration on this game so far. There will be some more calibrations on Ghost Recon Wildlands. This is just my first attempt on a full version HDR to see what I can do with this TV and its settings that it has available. And I'm pretty sure you guys are going to agree that this is a good calibration. Let's just drive around a little bit for, for a second. Alright, get in, man. There you go. Remember, when I do a uh, calibration for a game like this, remember, I'm doing a calibration based on the HDR okay this is the HDR game and I'm doing a calibration based on HDR that's what I'm doing now do I see any difference as far as the graphics I do notice that uh, the textures are a bit richer like the textures and filterings are much richer now on the full version of PlayStation 4 Pro uh, it is really close to a PC version I have to say it, it is very close to a PC version. There's no question about that. All right, so let's uh, park it right here. And then uh, let me go ahead and show you my uh, calibrations. Now, remember, I always use the game mode. Uh, the reason being I use the game mode because I want to make sure that uh, I don't have that latency of input lag so I want to make sure that is taken care of now what I did I went back to my original calibration that I did for Horizon Zero Dawn that me and John Crow have calibrated and I used the same calibration and I tweaked it based on that into this game and this is what I come up with I felt Look, the backlit and contrast will always be 100. You'll never have to worry about that. Backlit and contrast always has to be 100, 
maximum because you were using HDR. I felt the brightness needed to be a little bit to 45 to give me those deep black levels a little bit better. So I felt, let's move five clicks down, brightness. And also I felt that moving up sharpness to five, five clicks up, felt like that it gives me a little bit more of that pop that I needed to see. And another thing I changed was the color. I felt like using from 55 going up five notches more, five clicks more to 60, I felt like it needed that color to pop up from HDR a little bit better. And um, everything else is the same. The digital clean view it's off, Auto Motion Plus is off. I did, however, turn down the smart LEDs to low. I, f I felt like s turning the smart LEDs to high, it was just too too bleak and uh, too bright so I, I, f I left I felt like leaving it at low so I left it at low dynamic contrast is off color tone I always use the color tone warm one people ask me why do I use the color tone warm one because it gives me that nice balance between the yellow and the blue you know when you turn to that warm yellow temperature it's too yellow when you turn to a cold temperature it's too blue so I wanted to give it like a little balance between yellow and blue and keep it in the middle and that's exactly what I got the balance remember well, we're, we're all looking for a balance here when it comes to HDR the gamma I don't mess around with that you don't need that gamma color space always keep it a native so there you go so hopefully you guys will use this uh, calibration you can rewind this uh, video and look at from beginning and then write it down also make sure you do this make sure you go to your settings go to system sound and screen go to video output settings and your RGB range should be at full make sure your RGB range is at full Also keep in mind this is just my this is just my first attempt on uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. There will be some more attempts. You know we're gonna find a good uh, niche for this. We're gonna find a good balance for this uh, game on HDR. So we'll work on that. But I'm pretty sure you guys will agree this is a good calibration so far. But it's not a final one, it's just my first one for the full version of this game. So an army ranger, a recon marine, a seal, and a delta operator are sitting on a campfire. And it looks really good. You, you will notice much better, deeper blacks when you uh, have selected RGB to full. So there you have it guys, uh, there will be some more videos coming in today, this is just my first attempt, I felt like uh, you guys should go ahead and try this out, let me know what you think. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next video pretty soon, have a good one, take care.